Question. Are we in a hostel? Yes. I mean, look at this <laughs> glorious bunk bed. I think I had the exact same one when I was in college. Look at this thing. <laughs> we're, uh, you know, we're on more of a budget now than we were before. You've been eating PB&J sandwiches. Dinner last mm. night and breakfast this morning. God, it's like the Sahara Desert in my mouth. Don't ever let anyone tell you that traveling on the world isn't fancy. And even though we didn't sleep all that well because we needed these, because there's a bar literally right next door just blasting music all night. I think, I think this is the new chapter for this trip. We're really excited. Tracy and Graham from The Flying Finnies. If you haven't checked out their channel, definitely check it out. They were just in Singapore visiting some of our favorite places. They reached out to us when we were in Sydney and thankfully the weather is amazing today. They kindly offered to take us out on their sailboat and of course, we have to say yes to that. But first we feel like we, we have to bring something from America, even though we're in Australia. I, I don't know, apple pie, spam musa bees? I don't think they have spam musa bees here. I have an apple pie. Did you just parallel park a boat? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, so right, today's gonna be amazing. We are on a boat in Sydney. With Tracy and Graham <laughs> flying finnies. <laughs> but these guys are amazing. So kind to invite us yes. out. Like, thank you guys so much. Shortly we're gonna head out on our boat, Lorena, under the Sydney Harbour Bridge, across to the Opera House, and then maybe catch up somewhere in a little somewhere and have some lunch. Yeah, we've got some iconic Australian food for lunch and we've got some really cool Australian desserts for them to try. And maybe a beer or two as well. <laughs> yes, of course, yeah, yes. Know. There's beer and bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, honestly a bit of a dream come true for me. I have always wanted to own a sailboat. I've always wanted to be on a sailboat. I've always wanted to sail around the world and to have this, to have this opportunity, I, I don't know, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. And do you see up on the top there, so you've got the big smokestack. There was only ever one convict who escaped from um, Cockatoo Island. His name was Captain Thunderbolt. <laughs> no way. I kid you not. <laughs> amazing engineering wise wow. about the bridge is that it's actually the longest self at the time maybe the longest self-sustaining steel suspension bridge wow in the world also so we gotta hop in real quick just do a little bit of maintenance and prop I think from what he said that there's some mollusks, Tesh, is that, is that what I heard right? I think so. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta chip them off. I think so. I don't know how helpful I'll be able to be here, but uh, <laughs> I do have this. You can, you can put that in to see if there's any nasty creatures down there. Yes. <laughs> if something happens, I can go YouTubing permanently now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. The, the flying thing <laughs> Just taking a break for some maintenance work, but you know, I'm just enjoying the view. <laughs> you got a pretty good office though. <laughs> well, the office is good. <laughs> you got sometimes okay. the conditions are not the best. Victory! Whee! Look at us go now though. <laughs> Alright, where's your next captain? Well, you're the captain now. Oh, oh, come. Come on. Well, it's been good knowing you all. <laughs> it's been a good run. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So I'm guessing go straight is the most important thing I can do right go now. Go straight and don't hit anything. <laughs> way too much power. What? The Sydney Harbour, what, a, what is my life right now? How's it going? 
was terrified, but I didn't, you know, it was fun. Yay, great teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out the lily pad. As we pulled around the corner to lunch, Tracy was busy below deck making up a truly epic spread for us wow. to enjoy. Thank you guys. Oh, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Salmon, bread, chocolates, fancy cheeses. It was much more than we deserved and without a doubt the best meal we'd had in the past month. We've been subsisting on primarily cup noodle and sadness during van life, and this was just incredible. Oh, this make up for the terrible Australian oh weather. Oh my god! <laughs> no, you guys are more this than is, made up for. This is amazing. Pack it into one day instead. Oh. But the real treat for us came at the end, and that was the pavlova. We've never had this or anything really like this before, and it just blew us away. That is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> so t tell us about pavlova and the connection with Australia. Through all my life, pavlova has been an Australian dessert and there is some contention about is it New Zealand invented or did Australia invent it? It's basically just a sugar bomb <laughs> with cream. Very traditional to put passion fruit on it and berries. Oh my god. That's so good. Does it live up to the sugar bomb name? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I also really like the inside because it's soft and the outside's a little bit crunchy. Passion fruit. It's passion fruit. That's really good. From here, we started making our way back to port, sailing straight into a beautiful sunset. Under the Harbor Bridge, past the Opera House, listening to some classic 80s tunes, it was honestly all too perfect. We felt emotionally overwhelmed by this whole experience. It was a far cry from our last few weeks. It felt like a huge weight fell off our shoulders. This is about the sail of the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Quite a view, huh? Oh my god. Look at this. Man, what a day. Ridiculous. I can't believe we're on a sail, on a sailboat, with the finnies, looking at the most beautiful sunset off the bridge, right the Sydney Opera House. Like, and we got to sail the boat. <laughs> what a perfect day. What a perfect day. We had spent the past month trying to think ourselves out of this burned out feeling that we were having. And at a certain point, we realized that we just couldn't do this by ourselves. We had spent so much time being stuck in our heads during these past couple weeks that we had basically shut off the outside world. So when we finally got out of our own heads and said yes to this amazing experience, things really turned around for us. We 
as he sails off into the sunset. Literally. <laughs> Wow, what a day. Oh. oh my god, what a perfect day. Do you see her smile? This <laughs> is so giving, so generous, so awesome to hang out with, so knowledgeable. Like, I learned so much about sailing. Oh, it was so cool. Good day. It was a good day. All right, that's it for this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. They packed us a bag of Tim Tams. Fredos, Caramello Koalas. Oh, there's some light. Wow. <laughs> Got uh, this private hostel room. Uh, what else do we need to say? Oh, Captain, my Captain. The water is lovely. <laughs> That's not what you said. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> the true story. <laughs> His voice went off a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Hey yard, tis a pirate's life for me. It's bon Jovi him, was never. Him. Hair metal is like you know you know how when they go on stage and they have like the huge oh, like, like kiss. Yeah, yeah and then, and like every song was like yeah. <laughs> you know, it was, it was like that, and there was always like two minutes of guitar solo so what, for so some reason. So what I've learned today is that there's such a thing Thank as you. hair metal. Right? Yeah. There's a new channel coming. It's called the Tracy and Lisa <laughs> channel. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you later. Trying a cherry ripe for the first time. There's coconut in it? Mmm. This might be my favorite thing. What? It's so good. It's like, it's like a cherry almond joy. My favorite flavors, coconut and cherry. Got married. Hi, kitty. <laughs> what do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs>